What's going on, everybody? It's GBC2001 bringing you a little bit of 1v1 with shotgun. And uh, I'm not even really going to talk about that. I've been kind of surfing on the internet and I found some really nifty stories. So, this dude, this kid, he's probably in his teens, just. Um, Wednesday, the Berlin police released pictures of this kid because they're trying to figure out who the hell he is. But sometime last year, he just wandered into. Berlin. He said he had been living in the the woods with his father for the last five years, and he spoke English, but he had no like particular dialect or or accent or anything like that. But his English was to the point where they knew that English wasn't his first language. Now he picked up German as he stayed in Berlin longer, and you know he's doing fine. He's being taken care of and going to school and stuff like that. But they can't find his father, and they can't find any records of his mother dying in a car accident and they don't know what it know he know who he is they just know his last name his first name is ray but they don't know what his last he doesn't know what his last name is so it's kind of interesting his mother doreen that's what it says in the article died a couple years ago actually when he was 12 and his father just kind of took to the woods with him and took care of him for five years and his father died in august and he walked five days north before ending up in berlin so i mean that's really just crazy. I mean, I hope they probably figure out who this kid is and try to give him a stable life or something. I hope it's not like a scam or anything. But we shall see. I'll put the link to it so you can read more about it in the description. Uh, another thing is, I found this and this is hilarious. I'm going to put the link in the description also. But a hundred years ago when they were doing the big uh, race to the, I think it's the South Pole. Yeah, South Pole. Um, one of the groups that didn't make it, um, like main part of the group died, the rest of them didn't. He sat down and he observed penguins. You know those the, the bipedal penguins that we all know and love. <laughs> they look like they're in tuxedos. Well, anyways, he was observing them for like a whole year while he was down there, and his work just finally hit public area because back when he wrote this information he you know what he was writing about was considered very taboo but he wrote sexual habits of the adelia penguins and basically he noticed and saw that during mating season some male penguins would have sex with dead female penguins some of them who had been frozen for over a year they would you know pin down other penguinists and rape them <laughs> and have you know, homosexuality, you know, homosexual activities with other male penguins. And, you know, I guess everybody's problem is they think about those penguins as uh, kind of like little people, but they're not. They're birds. So, I mean, really, this isn't really a, a like, step out from, from birds. I mean, birds are screwed up creatures, and they do all sorts of really messed up stuff. So, <laughs> but it's really cool. Like I said, I'll put it in the, um, the description so you can you know check it out but it was that's like I was reading them was like oh my god that's hilarious and let's see I found some really neat pictures of JFK I'm gonna put the link to that so you guys could take a look at them they're like old campaign photos when he was becoming a uh, trend campaigning for presidency and I think one of my favorites that I've seen is there is a picture of the pot the um, the, the press sitting on the back of this car and they're taking a picture of whoever's you know they're they're taking a picture of JFK and the cars behind them but ba one of the uh, Paul Schulitzer one of the um, photographers turned around and took a picture of all of his co-workers and uh, colleagues excuse me and it's a really cool picture they're all just sitting on the car and they're following everybody and this is a really nifty picture so I'm gonna put the link for that in the uh, vi in the description also so you guys can enjoy that now there's two more things that I found really really cool uh, there was a Super Bowl commercial for Volkswagen where the little kid and you know he's dressed up like Darth Vader and he's trying to use the force to do things and his dad hits the engine on the car from the uh, kitchen when he's standing in front of the car. It's, a, it's adorable but he's um He's in hospitalized. He's going to be hospitalized for the next couple of days for heart surgery. He has a congenitive heart defect. And he's going to be going under more and more surgeries. And it was really cute. I mean, he says, 
Bromberg says that Max told his mother that he didn't have a choice and that he might as well go through it with a good attitude. And that's cute. You know, I mean, this this kid is young and seven year old. He's seven seven years old, and he's a uh, young and the restless actor, and he's congenital heart failure. That's some that's some crazy shit. You know, I mean, I know a congenital heart defects excuse me and i know there are a good chunk of people out there with that problem and i I, you know i hope they get that stuff uh taken care of and they can you know eventually get over it and they don't die from it but you know this guy this little guy he's the greatest funniest shit in this commercial and and of course i'll put the link in the description now time for the top news right here this is this is probably the funniest thing so far that i have found after 115 years together, tortoises go their separate ways. There are two tortoises in Australia named uh, Bibi and Poldy, and they're two giant tortoises. Tortoises, and they have been together for the last 115 years. Now they've shared the same space. I mean, they've been, you know, been shipped from zoo to zoo together, but they've shared the the same space for the last 36 years, and they have decided to split them up because BB attacked Poldy and bit his shell. So I figure, you know, it's like any good really. It's a, like any relationship. After 115 years, you just can't stand the sight of each other. I can't blame each other. They had a good run. You know they they you know they 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 gave it out they 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 gave it over the hill and everything, it's it's you know, it it's about time they moved on. Maybe they could see other tortoises and everything. They're only young. I mean they're only 115 years. They still got another three four hundred years in them. You know we don't we don't know how long these giant tortoises live. There's got there's no telling. I mean nobody's actually been alive long enough to actually, um chronicle exactly how long tortoises live so i mean they where these guys are 115 years old there might be a tortoise in the ocean somewhere that's rocking five six hundred years we don't know yet because it's only been in the last 20 30 years that we've been ever really to explore and stuff like that so with that being said i hope you know one day these guys get it back together because they seem like such a cute couple. So, <laughs> and I will definitely, definitely put the link in the description so you guys can enjoy this because this, this is hilarious. So, and it's funny, they they uh, the 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 staff members at the zoo tried various methods to re relight the fl- flames of love, including um, aphrodisiacs, games, couple counseling. They gave the turtles couple counseling. That's hilarious. Oh my god, that's hilarious. So anyways, that was just some of the stuff I saw today online and I just had to like this overwhelming desire to share it with everybody else because it is well <laughs> it's funny. You know, I mean it's like what do you say to that? <laughs> you know, Nymphomaniac, or not nymphomaniac, uh, necrophiliac penguins, and 115 years of being with the same tortoises, I think I'd go nuts too. (laughs) So, alright guys, ZBC, I'm out.